So obviously, I see a lot of people out there putting out videos about the top five plugins that every producer should have or the top five free plugins and whatnot. So for I do my own little take on it and do my top five most low key, most underrated, most underappreciated plugins that I never really hear anybody talk about, but that I personally use all of the time. Okay, so my little criteria for this list is plugins that I don't really hear too many people talk about, as I already mentioned. All of these plugins cost less than $50, given the fact that I only ever buy plugins during a sale, as you should do too. Also, all of these plugins are plugins that I genuinely use all of the time and are, for the most part, already saved into my default project. And lastly, I didn't want to include more than one plugin by any single one manufacturer, so let's get into this. Okay, so this plugin list isn't in any particular order other than how they are set up in my mixer. So on channel one, I've always got my kick and I have this plugin, which is the BX Control V2 by Brainworks. So this is just a super simple utility plugin that costs maybe about $10. As you can see, we've got control over the gain. We can switch the left to right channels. We can inverse the phase. We can solo the mid, sides, left, right. We have left and right pan control. We have pan over the mids, pan over the sides. But why I've always got set up on my kick drum is this mono maker. And I'll show you why. So a lot of the time, not always, but a lot of the time when we're using sampled kick drums, we get things like this. Where we can see here that the left and right channel aren't quite level. Now, it's just a tiny thing, but to me, it's just super annoying. But with this simple little utility plugin, just move up the mono maker. And there we go. We've got a mono kick drum. Of course, there's loads of other uses for this. For example, if you do want a wide bass, say, but you want to control the low end, you can just mono the low end and just give it a bit of stereo width. But yeah, like I say, super simple, super convenient, super useful, super cheap. BX Control V2 by Brainworks. So next on my list is Saturate by Newfangled Audio, which is a spectral clipper. Again, many uses for this plugin, but I'm using it here on my snare stroke clap group, and I'm using it to get a little bit of extra headroom on my drum bus. So with the plugin disabled, let's just have a look at the peak meter of the snare clap group and on the drum bus. So you can see we're peaking at minus 9.6. Let me enable the plugin. Reset the meter. And you can see we're gaining about 6 dB of headroom. Now let me just do an AB so you can really listen to the snare clap group and see if you can really hear the difference. Okay, yes, so we're losing a little bit of the low mids, but as you can see, I'm really driving this plug-in by 17 dB. So that's really just for the purposes of this video, but obviously we can dial that back a bit and raise up the output. Okay, so not much more I can say about that. It speaks for itself. As you can see, we've got super simple controls, drive, we've got a clipper shape, and we've got the overall output. Super simple, super useful. Love it. Saturate by Newfangled Audio. So next on my list, I've got tape by Softube, and it does what it says on the tin. It is a reel-to-reel -reel tape emulation. Now, this might be a little bit difficult to hear on YouTube, but I've got it on my drum bus, so Really listen to the low end of the kick and the high highs, which is why I can hear it in my headphones. So let me just bypass it and enable it. Bypassed. Enabled. We can change the drive amount. You can really hear the distortion, saturation on the kick there. The tape speed. 
three different types of tape. Really like A, that's my favorite. We also have extra controls here where we can do this cool little thing. Who doesn't love that? Let's run it. We have dry wet. We have the speed stability, which gives you a little bit of flutter. We've got a high frequency trim and we have tape cross talk. Also noise on and off and master input and output. Again, not much more I can say about it. Super simple plugin. It just really adds a little bit of tape warmth, although any of you guys out there who have an actual tape machine will probably disagree. I don't have one. I do everything in the box. I haven't used an actual reel-to-reel -reel since probably the late 90s and I don't really have that good of a memory so I can say that yes this really really sounds like a tape but I like it sounds great on my drum bus if you go to the soft tube website right now it might be a bit more expensive than $50 but I promise you I spent less than $50 on this during the sale so that's tape by soft tube so number four on my list I've got no by the company whose name I can't pronounce and what this thing does is add harmonics to your low end, to your subs, to your 808 so that they can cut through on speakers that aren't your studio monitors. Now there are already a plethora of plugins to do something similar, but in my experience, they all sound a bit fluffy, I guess is the adjective, but this one really works for me. I don't know why you can see the controls are super simple, so I'm not a hundred percent sure on what it's doing, but let's just have a listen. We have basically three different modes, soft, medium, and hard. And then we can just move this about to play back with the intensity. And that's all there is to it. So let's have a listen to it. So let me just play in some of this 808. And let's enable it. Try medium. Let's go with hard. So, you seen a pattern here once again? Not much more I can say about it. Super simple, super cool, super useful. No, by Claire Grand. So, last but not least is Sweep Machine by UVI. Now, this thing has been around for ages. It costs about $20, $30, something like that. Not too sure, but less than $50 for sure. It works within UVI's workstation, which is free. And it does what it says on the tin. It's a sweep machine. Now, I know sweeps are really easy to program, but having it all here ready to go with all these extra controls just makes adding sweeps, risers, downshifters just super simple. Super easy, super efficient. So this is the default template. Just a bit of noise. If I want the sweep to fade in over four bars, I just go to four bars, click in. So we've got delay, reverb, flanger, we've got LFO. We can add sub noise, we can add these metallic noises. Let's go through some of the presets so we can hear what it's capable of. So if you're not making electronic music, maybe this is not so useful for you. But if you are, I'd say this is pretty much a no brainer. It's one of those things that once you've got, you're going to be using it all the time. Saves going through samples or programming them yourself every single time. I love it. I use it all the time. That's Sweet Machine by UVI. Okay, so thanks for watching. And please do let me know in the comments below what your most underrated plugins are. So I can go and check them out for myself. If you've made it this far through the video and you haven't liked or subscribed yet, please consider doing that because as you already know, it really helps the channel out. But as always, I've been Craig Lopez. This has been Tutorialism. Peace.